Welcome back to Have Another With Espo. It is day nine of the 12 Days of St. Patrick's. It's Thursday. It's back to being a little bit dreary and cold outside like Mark should be. So the onesie's back. You're welcome. Love you all. Ah, because it's a little bit dreary, we're going to start off with an Irish coffee. Just uh, heating up some hot water here. And I've got my mixing glass. We're not using mixing glass. <clears throat> we learned that lesson back in December. We've got a temperature safe glass. Heating up some water. And while we're doing that, that'll uh, that'll get this nice and tempered, really, so we can pour the hot beverage in there. Uh, but while we're getting that ready, we will use our mixing glass for something else. We've got our mixing glass. Got some half and half cream. Really should be using heavy cream here, but uh, I don't have any. We're doing a little bit of measuring with our hearts today. It's about two ounces of cream. It should whip up to about three ounces by the time we're done with it. Or about, actually, about four and a half ounces by the time we're done with it. We're going to add, we're not going to add that yet. That was a secret number. We're going to add about a third of an ounce. Actually, less than that. Probably about a sixth of an ounce. I know, we're getting into weird measures here. Half of a third. Enjoy that. Of rich demerara sugar. Into our cream. It's going a scans and a skew. Right, now that's preheated, let's get this mug a little bit tempered, and that'll drop on the floor. Fantastic. That'll just get this mug ready and warmed up, so we're not not boiling the hell out of our stuff. Put that to the side for a minute. Got that in there. We've got our our sixth of an ounce of uh, of rich demerara sugar. It's gonna be nice and sweet and rich that way. Uh, we're gonna put about a third of an ounce of amaro. A very not tomorrow into this one, because, well, just because the coffee's Irish doesn't mean we can't put a little Sicilian things in there. Put that in with the cream, just a touch. Again, about the same amount as the, uh, the Demerara sugar. We get our frother. We'll froth this up a bit while we're waiting for that to warm. So how's your week been? <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Probably should have magic television this one. Froth it for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I'm just going to until I see a bit more volume. Uh, do us. That ready. I'm a little sore. <laughs> Went to the gym on Monday and Tuesday, a little bit overdid it. Shoulders a little, a little bit janky. And batting practice yesterday probably didn't help. So we're trying to take it easy a little bit today. And that's where this coffee comes in. That ought to be good for there. All right, this seems about ready. So let's pour that into something also temperature safe. Just got a mug on the side. And we'll get an ounce of Bushmills. Could really go an ounce and a half if it's been a rough day. More of a dessert drink after all. About three and a half ounces of hot coffee. We're not super measuring here. We're just leaving enough room for the cream, but we'll see what we got just in case. Yep, that's hot. On the fingies. Ounce and a half. Ounce and a half. Let's call it four and a half ounces. Why not? A little bit more. A little bit. back in and now we've got our lightly whipped up cream also gonna add a little bit of demerara sugar we didn't put enough in the in the cream to really get her mixed in so let's throw let's say a third of an ounce right into the coffee it's gonna be a sweet one it's more of a dessert coffee get in there struggle less you can also use like a, a caramel syrup like we have here but I don't Really think that's going to be necessary. Blend this up a little bit. Because we can. Froth it. And then pour eh, a couple fingers worth into this. Let's grab a spoon. Pour it over the top. Making a mess as we go, because why wouldn't we? Yeah, it looks good. Let's just pop it all in. 
Well, I haven't tried this. I did sample the cream with the uh, with the Amaro and the uh, and the Demerara syrup in there, so that tasted fantastic. Let's see what it does with the coffee and the Irish whiskey. Pretty much just drinking Irish cream. That's fantastic. It's a fair amount of cream in there. <laughs> Might have overdone it. Use a little more coffee. We're not above changing things up a touch. Let's pop a little coffee in there. Should really be foamier on top. And I guess if we really wanted to, we could go this route. Not whipped cream. Oh, we got two packs of it because that's how Costco deems worthy of selling it. Pop it off that way. There we go. A little bit of a bougie, boozy Irish coffee. A little bit of Verona in there. Again, just to fancy it up a bit, give it a little more depth. Do a little chocolate shaving over top or sprinkle a little nutmeg. Gonna pop a cinnamon stick in the side. So I think it looks fun. There you go. What do y'all think? Irish coffee, dreary Thursday afternoon, lovely after dinner drink, maybe a little bit of dessert. Toss some ice cream in there if you feel like it. Do you? It's your drink. Anyway, cheers. We'll see y'all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.